Welcome to Creative Tian channel. Today we are going to knit short collar on a knitting machine. I'm using Brother 260 bulky machine, just a knitter, because I'm just going to use a stocking and stitch. For the short collar, it usually looks like that, and it has the back side higher and the front side lower. And it's usually connected to the button band in the front. So it can be a long continuous piece with the center part taller. But because on the knitting machine, we don't really have enough needle for the continuous collar and uh, button band. So we are just going to do this section. And we can knit the button band separately and then sew them together. So only for the neck part with the curve, it's about 20 inches. That's from the button band all the way to the other side. And of course, depends on your opening size, you can adjust it. And for my measurement, it's around 20 inches. And according to my little sample here, I have 5.5 .5 stitches and a rows per inch square. And I'm using sock weight yarn and uh, tension two on my brother 260, just to give you some idea. So that means I will need about 110 stitches. I'm going to reduce it and just use 100 stitches because it's easier when you are not using all the stitches on the edges. So the idea is to start from the flat part and you can need the same width as your button band if you use that. And we will do the show row to change the shape and create a pocket. It's just like the heels and toes for the sock knitting. We create a pocket, we do the show row and reverse show row and do a few rows of this part. So this will be a double layered show color. So I'm going to cast on from left 50 to the right 50 and do a simple erupt cast on. You can also start with waist yarn. Now we can hang the cast on comb and knit a few rows. And you can decide how many rows you want before the show row. If you want to match button band, you can need the same width, maybe around one inch. For this sample, I'm going to need a rows. I will set my tension to about two and one click and need a rows. Now we are ready to do the show row. Similar to the sock knitting, we are going to set the carriage to the holding position. That's from end to edge on the brother 260. Everything else is the same setting. And there are many ways to do the show row. My favorite way is to pull out the needle from the opposite end of the carriage. Depends on how sharp the slope you want, you can decide how many needles to pull out. And for the short collar, you don't need it very sharp angle. So I will start with five needles. So this is the end that's opposite to the carriage. I will pull out five needles all the way out so it's on hold. It's not going to knit. And then we need one row. And we want to place the working yarn below the first needle to prevent holes here. And at the same time, we pull out the needle from the other end. Pull out five needles and then knit one row.
And again, we place the yarn below the first needle and then pull out the five stitches from the other side. And we will keep repeating that until about one third of the stitches left or about the length you like for the highest point of the color. And it's really your preference. Place yarn under and then pull out five stitches and need one row. Place a yarn under five stitch. Now I have about left hand to the right hand. That's not on hold. And I'm going to do the reverse show row. And again, there are many different ways to do that. I'm just going to place a yarn under the first needle on the carriage side. And the side that's away from the carriage, I will take out the five needles. Just place it on the D position. So the latch is slightly open and the carriage side doesn't create a hole. So we'll need one row. And we'll keep repeating that. On the carriage side, we make sure wrap the yarn under the first needle. And on the far side, take the five needles to the D position so it's slightly open so when we knit back you will knit the yarn below the first needle the left side take out one two three four five And we'll keep doing that until all the stitches are back. And remember to put some weight in the center because we are creating a pocket. So there will be more fabric in the center. And the last five stitches on the right. Now we finished our short row and uh, we can change the setting back to normal from edge to end. And we can need a few rows to match the beginning. I have eight rows in the beginning, so I'm going to need eight rows again. And then we can bind off or put it on the waist yarn and take it off the machine. I'm just going to bind off. That's what it looks like after folding half and we can just sew it on the back of the neck and you can connect to your button band in the front if you are having a cardigan. So this is an easy way to do a short collar. Thank you for watching today and see you next time.